All right, welcome to Eflux FX Studios. Today's tutorial, we're going to cover bringing in Daz characters into iClone and animating them with the uh, Mixamo animations. Uh, these animations are free if you have a membership to the Adobe uh, Cloud, so it can prevent you from having to buy packs, etc. So um, we'll be using the uh, Genesis 2 characters, uh, but this will apply for Genesis 3 and I believe Genesis 8 as well. Uh, I, I focus on the Genesis 2 because I've bought assets for them and I don't really want to uh, purchase any of those again. So let's get started. So first thing you'll need to do if you're using the Genesis 2 characters is you're going to have to make sure you have open the install manager and that you have the public build beta. Uh, you do not need this for Genesis 3, but this is a requirement or the vis visami will not work. You, you won't be able to do any of the facial animations. So make sure you install the uh, beta it doesn't prevent you from having the other versions uh, installed so and again that's only if you're using Gen genesis 2 characters so uh, i'll close out of that i already have it installed and i'll open up uh, the uh, DAS software so i'm going to go ahead and load a figure uh, i'm going to go down and i'm going to uh come on they're here somewhere i'm going to load the uh, genesis 2 base uh there we go and uh, this is a character I, I've already bought some assets that I used on my short film, The Soldier Within, so I've been relating a lot of these tutorials to that. So let you take a look. Uh, I'll put some clothes on him and um, search that up. It's just it's under the content library, and uh, for whatever reasons, uh, it works better if you go with the all black. Uh, just loads quicker. I'm not going to put everything on there, but I'll get a few of these on there. So he's dressed. Um, just take a second, just double click on them. If you're just, you know, you can use any wardrobe you want, any clothes you want, uh, depending on what type of scene you have. Um, and uh, this is just the one I'm going to pick for today. And I also want to show you something with regards to how the clothes uh, will import. So the next thing you're going to need to do is, do you, if you want to change any of the materials, just select surfaces. And I'm just going to give us kind of a scruffy look not going to do any facial morphs or any body morphs for this tutorial. Uh, the morphs will transfer with the public build. Some of the other builds, it, it doesn't work. So make sure your character select it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come down and um, go over here and uh, set your FPS to 1. When you export your file, it will, uh, it will really save a lot of time. Otherwise, it'll do it's meant 24 or 30 frames for every single facial animation. So now you're going to come down here with the face key. Uh, you can search these out. I clone face key. Uh, they'll be stored. I don't know where they're stored uh, after the install, but again, just a, a quick search. You can find them. Once you get it, drag, drag that in. In this case, we want the male face key. Uh, if you're using Genesis 3 or Genesis 1, you'll see them there. And again, I, I, I have not worked with the Genesis 8 characters. So the preset contains information beyond the frames. Don't worry about it. Click yes. Uh, it will adjust. And in this case, you need 81 different uh, morphs. And then I want to leave the, uh, you can turn the limits on or off. Uh, it doesn't really matter for this particular deal. And then as you see, each keyframe has a different facial animation. And those will be very important if you're doing any expressions or, or, or uh, have the character talk. Um, so again, simple character, a little scruffy. You've seen that a lot now. So let's go ahead and export. We're going to hit File, uh, Export. Make sure you've selected Autodesk FBX. Get that centered here to see it better. Uh, if you want to keep the rigging, you definitely want FBX to not use OBJ. And I, or, um, and with High Clone, you, the FBX is the way to go anyway. So name it whatever you want. Uh, I came up with the brilliant name of Test One, and uh, find where you want to put it. Save it. Now, when you come down here for export options, you can change these if you have a different situation. But in this case, all I have is the figure. I make sure you have animations and morph selected, or the face keying won't go with it. Uh, leave the degraded skinning, the uh, merged clothing. And embedded textures then your edit rules make sure you have these two rules if you don't have those add them um, add them exactly as they are here and they'll uh, 
they'll work just fine. Click accept, or in this case, I'm just gonna click out of it since I already have it. And when you're ready, and you can, by the way, you can see all the materials that have been selected to go with it. Uh, if you weren't sending all those and you were only sending a selection, that's when that would matter. So click OK, and now let's wait. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up, and we'll come back as soon as it's uh, done, done uh, rendering. Okay, so now that it's done, we just go ahead and we're, uh, we jump out of uh, DAZ and we go into the 3DX Exchange. And we're going to pull that FBX in. So um, just uh, find where you save the file. In my case, it's right here under the iClone to DAZ iClone and uh, bring it in. Leave import animation. Uh, that's very important. Smooth curve and adjust materials. Click OK. And once it's done, click yes, and then OK, and your character's in. Now, don't worry about the shiny colors. They're, we'll take that up when we get into uh, iClone. Um, you can do it here in 3DX Exchange, but to me, the final tweaking should be in the animation software. So as always, with every character we're bringing in, we're going to convert this one to non-standard. When you bring it in, you'll notice over here to the right that it does have a green button, which means that it is uh, accepted and appropriately animated. So it's good so we can convert it. And uh, you know, you'll notice some of the bones, just to point out, are not, um, are not uh, selected. Don't worry about that. Um, again, you're fine, it'll animate. Um, if you want to test it, you can go ahead and uh, do so under the preview. All right, so we go ahead and convert to non-standard, click yes, and the character is ready to go. Now, what's important is you will not be able to bring in any Mixmo animations uh, at this point, but let's look at the uh, expression editor here before we get to that. So we wanna make sure the Visimi works and the head, head and uh, movement and, and everything works here. So. I like to turn off the bones so I can just see the face and the lips you can see in mouth move and that's what we want to see. If you use, did not use the beta, this would not work. You wouldn't have this control. You would have the head tilting but you would lose the ability to uh, move the mouth. So we'll get out of that because again we're just testing to make sure it works and you could do set it. You can change the settings but uh, since you can do that in iClone, same thing. You uh, you can ex ex change the strength and, uh, and and other parameters. So, all right. So let's jump into Mixmo. So first thing we want to do is make sure. Let's make sure we load the uh, Ybot. Uh, they used to have a beta character that was uh, better, but the Ybot works. So well, I'm in animations. I need to get back to characters. There we go. And I've already got the Ybot loaded, but. To load it, you would just double click on it, clear out the animation because we need a T pose. There you go. Uh, and to do that, just click on the X over on the right. And now we're going to download the uh, Y bot. So in a T pose because we'll need that um, for, uh, for the 3DX exchange so we can use the animations. So download it. After you're done there, go to the animations tab and then select an animation. I'm going to go ahead and do a walking animation. So I'm going to search on one real quick. I like this brisk walk right here. So let's go ahead and double click on that one. That's That'll work. Uh, you can make adjustments here over on the right. Arm spacing, uh, speed. But again, I'm happy with that. When you download it, make sure you select no skin, frames per second, and FBX. So there you go. We've got both downloaded at this point, so just copy those animations from the download file to um, wherever um, you're going to store your animations for your uh, for your project. So we'll do that real quick, and there they are. So now we can close some of that out. 
and before we do anything uh, I want to just show you that if you try and bring the uh, animation in with the non-standard character here from mixed mode directly it won't work just the rigging doesn't match up so um, the best way to do it is really to select his character and uh, go ahead and apply him to iClone so and then we'll bring in we'll use that's where we'll use the bots so make sure there's nothing selected here because if you have another character there and it's selected it'll over overwrite it so uh, in this case we didn't but just just keep that in mind make sure it's clear so the character goes goes into uh, iClone directly and does not uh, overwrite another asset that you have in your scene. Take a second, and there you go, he's in there. Now again, don't worry about the fact that the uh, character looks a little washed out, the clothes aren't reflecting, uh, we'll, we'll fix that. But when we really do that though, just to be honest with you, I'll do, a, I'll do another tutorial to keep this one from running uh, too long. This way, if you already know how to work with materials, uh, you don't have to sit through that. So, so now, as we mentioned, we're gonna go ahead and clear that out. Um, We've already applied a tie clone and we're going to bring the bot in. Leave the animation, smooth curve material, all is okay. There you go. Now, as always, we got to do a convert to non standard. And so go to another character and convert to non standard. Um, you'll notice it's red. It won't. It won't accept. It used to work. You select my human IK again. It's not working. So I'm going to uh, jump out to. An, I'm going to import a part of a, a tutorial I did previously that'll show you how to rig the character. And but for meanwhile, just go up to your character profile, load. I created a, a custom one previously and uh, just double click on it and there you go it's green everything will work you know do the finger calibration if you want that's the one I always recommend if you're just not sure whether you're, whether your uh, characters rig properly and then go back to a T pose hit preview and convert it all right so now we're in a situation where we can start importing animations that we've created uh, in um, Mixamo Double click, we want the smooth curve, current character, click OK, and there it is. So if you select the walk-in, he walks just fine, so select that. If, make sure your character is selected in iClone so that you know where the animation's being uh, applied, and click on Apply to iClone. And when you go down to back to character creator, you'll see the motion in there under the motions tab. And uh, you'll see walking, mix of go, and then the speed, uh, it's 100%. And um, it, you can go ahead and test it. And there you go, walking briskly. So, so as you can see now, we are able to use the Des character in iClone and use the Mixmo animations. And uh, since you have a saved profile, you just load that profile back anytime you want. So one of the things I want to do is show you, we'll add a second uh, walking animation to make, you know, if you want them to walk a uh, longer distance. So um, just line them up, go back and go ahead and run it and take a look. And there's a little bit of a hitch in a step. So we're going to play around with the adjustment till we get it just how we want it. And it's, it's right in the trend right in the transition that's not surprising so one of the things i always say is go ahead and align and in most of the walking ones you'll want to uh pick the the leg that's most grounded which in this case is the right one um 
still jumps a little bit. Um, there we go. It's getting closer. Um, play around with the overlap here. Sometimes if you make it, like you'll notice here, if you make it further, it's, you know, it, it helps some seamless. But in this case, it, it actually makes it worse. So get rid of it. And there you go. Characters on his way. And uh, I want to thank you for uh, watching the tutorial. And um, please uh, like and subscribe to our channel. We've got a lot more of these tutorials coming. And uh, take your time. And if you'll watch our short film, The Soldier Within, it'll show you there's a lot of uh, use of Daz and iClone uh, animations along with uh, actually live action. So. Uh, Take a look at it. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and uh, have a great day.